hey everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing another episode of what she wanted versus what she got this is the uh, series that i created where i show you guys how to replicate pictures of acrylic sets into a press on set or a gel like set with gel polish using no acrylic no poly gel nothing like that so let's get into it First things first, I have my nail tips right here and I'm going ahead and I'm going to show you guys which ones I'm using. These are the nails by Dev Full Cover uh, XXL tips. They are more of a triple extra long square, but I love these tips so much. Um, when I run out, I think I'm going to buy more from her. They're really, really sturdy. They're not bendy. And if you add like one layer of base coat and then do your designs and everything, the nails are not going to bend whatsoever. I'm literally so in love with them. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So I'm going to be putting on my base coat and I'm going to be using Beetle's base coat. Whenever I'm doing triple extra long uh, nails, I always make sure to do at least two coats of base coat. Um, I am still doing two coats on these nails, even though I'm still going to add multiple layers of gel polish on top. Uh, so I wanted to say that as well. We are going to get started on the first layer of glitter. This is going to be a reflective gel polish. It's like a gold one from Born Pretty. I do know that it comes in a set, like you can get it on Amazon in a whole set. So I will be linking that down below, but I'm also gonna make sure that I link another gold glitter just in case you guys wanna try a different brand or a bottle that's bigger. This bottle is so tiny, I've only used it like twice and I'm already out of it, especially after this long set of nails. And then I'm gonna be going in with this Beatles color. It's kind of just like a kind of shimmery uh like silverish uh champagne color like not really a gold i just really wanted to mix glitters and really get a really nice sparkly effect i'm also grabbing this beetles glitter and you guys these are the only ones i don't know if i'm going to be able to link these ones like the beetles ones because i have no idea what collections they're from they're from collections that i've had for a while and i have no idea you know which ones they are I'm also going to be grabbing a little bit of these other types of glitters from Beetles. Again, these are from collections, but I'm going to look up Gold Beetles gel polish and I'm trying to see I'm going to try to see which ones are like the ones that are the most similar to these. I'm adding this yellower gold one because I want it to be more of a yellow gold undertone on the nails. And really quickly, I almost forgot. I'm going to show you guys the picture that we're actually recreating today. So this is the picture right here. It is an absolutely stunning set of nails. I honestly had to do my best to uh, try to find these charms for this customer because I couldn't find any that were like identical to this. And also those really big rhinestones. I know those are Swarovski, but I don't have any of those big Swarovskis. And I know they're very difficult to get right now. So um, I had to kind of improvise and I feel like they came out just as gorgeous. So you can kind of see I had like a lion charm with like a little circle on it, a bunch of gold, uh, uh, rhinestones and then you know just a bunch of other kinds and uh then i will put the name of the original creator right here on the screen shout out to her her work is absolutely stunning so that is a set that we are recreating today I also wanted to say if you guys don't already follow her on TikTok, you guys should. I love her TikToks. If you guys know uh, like Spanish because she does do her videos in Spanish, but she explains everything like uh, that she does and she loves making tutorials. And I think that's so helpful for people that need like, you know, videos and stuff. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say that, but I am going ahead and doing the same thing on the other hand with the glitters. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this gold foil that I have. I absolutely love this gold foil and um, I am going to be grabbing a dry brush. The uh, nails are sticky because of the uh, inhibition layer of the gel polishes I already put on. So I'm just sticking pieces of gold foil all over the nails. This is just going to add an extra pop. Trust me, it makes all the difference. I absolutely love that I decided to do this. Thank you. 
And at this point, I was already so in love with the outcome and I felt like it wasn't showing up good um, in this view. So this is what they were looking like in person, you guys. So, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm like obsessed. When I literally saw this set at the end, like when I was done, I was like, I don't even want to give it away or like not give it away, but like ship it off. I was literally so obsessed with it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Next thing that I'm going to be doing is grabbing a whole bunch of different rhinestones. Like I mentioned earlier, I had some trouble trying to find the exact rhinestones I needed for this set. I already had a lot of gold ones. I get a lot of them from AliExpress. You can get some on Shein. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I did use some Swarovski as well that I already had in my collection. And the charms I actually had to purchase. So I'm going to link the charms in the description box down below. But I am using my McCart rhinestone gel. I've recently fallen back in love with it. I realized that if as long as I make sure that I cure it right and I don't use uh, too little of the gel, it works amazing. So um, I'm going to be repurchasing this product for sure. Because after I did this set or this girl's orders of sets, I definitely used an entire bottle of McCart rhinestone gel um so yeah i just wanted to say that and i'm going to be grabbing my rhinestone so i'm using some little shimmery gold ones i'm using this charm right here which is a really pretty kind of like white charm i did get it on amazon it's like a whitish silver one and um i'm just gonna honestly be kind of freestyling the nails you guys did see the picture of what i'm recreating but it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of like my own version of it which is gonna be you know almost identical but obviously not like exact because i don't know exactly what she used but i did try my best and i feel like they came out stunning in the end regardless So right here specifically, I went ahead with my glue on this nail. I, this is where I'm going to be putting that like a uh, leopard head charm. This charm went perfectly with this set because it was most similar to what I could find from the original picture. And um, I did go ahead and put a whole bunch of glue. So I realized that the back of the things are empty. As you can see there, it's like hollow. So you want to go ahead and add like a puddle of glue so that it kind of just like... Uh, the charm is filled with glue on the inside you know what i mean like as much as you can possibly do it don't be worried about it not curing because i actually take the nail off and flip it upside down so that it can cure underneath as well like it can so that the light can penetrate through the nail you know you know what i mean so i'm going ahead and i'm going to be placing a bunch of different rhinestones 
if you guys are having trouble with rhinestone placement and you guys see a whole bunch of people with really good rhinestone designs and you guys are kind of confused on where you should start or how you can make it look like that my biggest tip that i can give you is use a whole bunch of different shaped rhinestones and a whole bunch of different sized ss rhinestones so i use rhinestones from size ss6 all the way up to ss16 so i recommend using a whole bunch of different sizes definitely definitely invest in having so many of um variety because when you do your rhinestone placement you'll have so much more creative freedom to do it as opposed to if you had only one size of rhinestone you know what i mean so here for this charm because it has a little ring i did go ahead and put glue in there as well just to make sure the charm is 1000 percent secure and that charm is not going to go anywhere that was my biggest thing i was like i don't want any of these rhinestones to fall off or go anywhere uh you could also do a glue box for big charms that's when you grab like any type of watery or type of glue like a nail glue and you just do a glue bath all around not glue bath as where you like put the glue on top of the rhinestone you only want to keep it around because you don't want to take away from the sparkle of the stones so then i'm just going to be grabbing a whole bunch of different shapes and like i mentioned i am going to be linking so many of these uh different shapes and stuff like that so that you guys can get them for yourself as well and recreate this look i fell in love with this set so much this was definitely right up my alley
Not okay, all I want and I pray all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days cause all i want and i pray i believe in the better yeah. days i'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place do i work hard or live in my pace you're only young once yeah that's all great but i also want a future where i'm okay living life is doing lots of cocaine wait no it's living with no shame wait no it's sleeping in on sundays i guess it's different for each of us and that's okay well i just want to be happy how to get there hmm, glad that you asked me i think it's different for everyone some of us need work others need fun some of us need purpose to overcome but try to do what you love when it's said and done because there's so many differences in each of us trust your gut it can show you what you want living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days because all i want and i pray i believe in the better days living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah so after I have all of my uh, nail charms nice and placed or my rhinestones I always go in with a little lymphree wipe and a little bit of acetone and I like to clean off the stones you want to make sure that your stones are not plastic because if they are the acetone will me melt them and they will completely like the shine will completely be removed I use only glass stones so that's why my stones are not uh, melting or anything like that um, and you do want to make sure that you kind of scrub off any little bit glue that is stuck on the nails because it's definitely going to make the biggest difference when you uh, take pictures of your set. And I like to either just like try to scrape it off or like use something to try to get it off. It sometimes is really hard because the glue is really stuck on there. And then lastly, I like to go in with my top coat. This is the Beatles top coat. You guys, um, this customer had four sets of nails. I filmed two of them. Uh, I totally wish I would have filmed the last one. I regret it so bad, but I was kind of rushing to get it done. But the last two, I mean the first two that I filmed and uh, with the last two, it just had, they were like so long. It was crazy. I used almost an entire bottle of this Beatles top coat. I just wanted to say that really quickly. I don't know how it was like crazy. Like I finished the whole thing. But I love this top coat. It's super glossy. This is what I use in all of my sets. I'm either using this Model 1s or iGel Beauty. Uh, I use one of those three. But I'm always using Beetles 95% of the time. It's the one that I keep repurchasing over and over because it's the perfect thickness and it's really, really glossy. I did notice that, like something I wanted to mention, that you should cure the Beatles one for a little bit longer. Like double or triple cure it just to make sure. I've noticed that sometimes it's really random, but my Beatles top coat will have a little bit of a, like a sticky layer. If I only cure it once, like it won't cure all the way. So just make sure that you cure it multiple times just to make sure it's all the way dry. And then that's pretty much it for this video, you guys this is the final result they came out absolutely gorgeous this is how they looked in person this is like what i wanted you guys to see like i really wanted to try and capture the true essence of what it was you guys can kind of see the bottom set that i did for her as well it was like a full black french tip with full black rhinestones um anyways i just wanted to say that really quickly but i loved the set i hope you guys loved it as well i know sometimes people don't really like all the bling uh sometimes i feel like it could be too much as well but this is just so pretty i just love it so much these are my favorite type of sets to do because they're just so pretty to look at in the end and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment share please subscribe to me if you're not already a lot of people have been telling me like a lot that they watch all my videos but they didn't realize that they weren't subscribed please subscribe you guys and turn on the bell notification because it notifies you every time i upload i really appreciate you guys and have a great day bye